Terry's gonna pull the tail handler down so we can get a I need to get over there and pull that brick down so we can pour the concrete behind the behind the lintel. So I've got to take that bit of conc uh, bricks out. That bricks have to come out. But I thought I'd show everybody how it looks as of right now. Oh. So this is our uh, fake drone, even though Carrie has a new one. We're doing it with the uh, Vertha. So da 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 da. All right, that's what. Uh, What it looks like so far. A little bit of lime to clean up, looks like. A couple of new stones right there. They still have are drying out. So they'll match the rest of it. But overall, it looks better than it did. That's both show. I am going to start uh, Dismantle in this area. All that brick is starting to lean out. So I'm pretty sure that's how the brick looks all along underneath all that crown molding. So, ugh. Frank is taking those bricks out so that we have more of a bite for the concrete when we pour it for this tie-in beam, cross beam, bond beam, bond beam kind of what, whatever you want to call it that will go all the way across here. The bond everything. And it will tie everything, bond everything together. Is that all you're taking out? No, I got gunk in my glove. Nobody likes gunk in their glove. No, sure don't. How far over are you going to take it? I'm just going to take it from here down that way so I can get the bricks on it. Taking out the huge floor joist on the end here. It uh, is holding up a whole bunch of stuff. I think it uh, had seen better days. That was a two by, a full dimensional two by twelve at one time. Don't think it is anymore. Mm. That's where it came out of. It's packed in here, and then went across to there. Oh, Christmas light. But that one, the next one looks in good shape, so that's good. Now we can 
put a new one up and keep going with this build project restoration. We're not building anything, we're just restoring. Some of these floorboards are rotten as well. That's why I'm way back here. Probably a good idea, Bibbit. Mm -hmm. Probably a good idea. What what are you leaving? I'm just leaving this in place, part of the form. Okay. And then put the new 2x12 here. And then pour concrete. I don't know how far we're going to go up with it. Maybe to here? Floor level? Maybe. And then we'll have to decide how much brick and how much concrete goes in this last bit here. Because it has to hold up about 7,000 pounds, six, 7,000 pounds of stone. True. For the dormer facade. But it's pretty solid on the way down. Mm-hmm. Frank's getting the walk boards, and then I'll lift all these up there to him. another set up. Okay, we went and got uh, 42 bags of concrete. Frank is taking 12 off so we can finish that column today. And then the rest of them, we're gonna put them up in the third floor. So that's the challenge of today. Unfortunately, I can't lift 80 pounds and move it. Oh, I can lift it. I just can't move it anymore. All right. Frank has got all this concrete. And he's got one last bag. Ugh. And there it is. Good job. That's tough. How many, we've said it before, two, how many pounds is that? Uh, about 3,300. But I only put 32 bags up here. I put 10 on the second floor for our column. Yeah. We've got the first bag of concrete all mixed up and ready so that we can move on up. All right, there's the second bag all mixed up. Frank is getting ready to put in another piece of rebar, rebar. to reinforce that and give it some tensile strength. Yes. Gotta have some tents, Austin. Frank just ran the concrete vibrator, concrete vibrator and it kind of really liquefies it, but it gets all the air bubbles out of it. So that's two bags and we're continuing on. So we were pouring the backfill 
on Isn't that the, a minor catastrophe? And we had a catastrophe. The. Oh, you can, I can see. Yeah. So I'm having to hold the stones. We didn't wait long enough for them to cure and it was too much for them to hold that concrete back. Should have done it in a smaller lift. But you live and learn. So now we get to take all that back down, redo the stones. Oh well. It looks pretty though. Or looked pretty. Slight disaster. It just wasn't hard enough. We didn't let it set, like Frank said, long enough. So we had to remove the concrete and the uh, bricks, stones are all leaning out. Okay, we're trying to do some strapping so that the stones don't fall. Well, gotta, well they don't work. I gotta take it all apart. We get, yeah, we have to redo it all. So. Frank's cleaning out the crack of all the mortar. Getting the rest of the concrete out. Frank is getting ready to undo what we just did. But as you can see, it just broke apart. So it just didn't have time to cure. My fault. We were excited. Yeah, I could have mitigated it by doing some stuff, but. Oh. Well, at least you got a preview. Yeah. I can see how well it sticks and stuff. It looks like it does pretty good. I got some good got good practice. <laughs> yeah. At least we know I'm they here. all yeah, we know they all fit. I got to practice making stones. Mm-hmm. I know where they go because I didn't mark them. Well, that's true. But how far down do we have to go? I've taken it all the way to that where we started today or yesterday. The rest of it had been long enough. Yeah, it, I mean, it doesn't go any further. Than the pillars are sitting on the one that. Oh, true. That's that's quite a ways. It's a day and a half work of work. That must be. Seven. Mm. It's always something. It's always something. <laughs> it's always something. We were literally two bags away from going home for the day. And from letting it sit. It's gonna, yeah, it was gonna sit for a couple days. We were trying Think to fix it. Think what happened. I didn't have anything. Supporting. Over, across these. Oh, and they... And all I did, they just had to go apart just a fraction. 
thing just a little tiny bit. Yeah. And then there was nothing squeezing them together. So this time we'll put a strap around them. Yes. Okay. This next time. And we took it down except for the, the last row. We were able to at least pour that. So we're still onward and upward. We just had to go back a couple steps. No worries. Well, here we are, round two. There's all the stones we had. Well, there's some up there. Frank has a tarp over him. We're supposed to get some rain later today. And we are in the process of redoing all of it. All of it. Not all of it. Well, actually. no, we, we still have one row that did not pull out and we were able to at least get one bag of concrete. So we have at least you have a preview of what it's going to actually look like. So we, um, yeah, we cleaned off this, or Frank cleaned off the stones. I got a double batch of hot lime mortar all ready to go. And round two. Round two. Yeah, do over, second try. Reset, I don't know, however you want to word it, but hopefully Miss Moreland lets us win today. She didn't the other day. She didn't the other day. She beat us. But that's okay. She was just maybe grumpy that day. So. Deja vu. All over again. Yep. Round two. But that was just a trial run, I guess. <laughs> All right, we got Bertha back in position and I went and put the man basket on. That will make Frank's job of fixing that area much easier and actually much safer. Um, so we should be able to get more done. I'm working under a tarp today, it's gonna rain. You're also working under scaffolding as well. And under the scaffolding, but that would annoying because it would just keep dripping down. Well, we could put a tarp over the top. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Feels like we've done this before. I know. But bigger and better. It's going faster this time. Yeah, it is. So, and we don't have to create any stones. So, makes it a little bit easier. Frank is doing his favorite thing of all time. Repeating my work? With that oh. and pointing. <laughs> There's four and five. Frank's prepping it, moistening it, going to prime it, get it ready to go in. Right. The last row is on again. Yay! And Frank is doing his thing. There it is. Back together again. Looks great. Took us a third of the time. So we'll let that. Sit. I don't want to know if third time is a charm. No, we do not. That would be very disheartening. So. I think I figured out my mistake. What could go wrong? Ain't nothing gonna happen wrong now. <laughs> Impossible for something to go wrong. Impossible. It looks 
really good. Indeed, that line even looks straight. Yeah, I know. I was filming that line all the way down. I think it looks really good. I guess it's kind of hard for it not to be straight since those are... Those are yeah. plum and so... Ooh, you even said plum. Right? I did say plum. So, let's go have some lunch. What are you girls doing? What are you doing? Are you praying? Mm-hmm, that's what I thought. <laughs>